Hello everyone and welcome to another Tim and Tercy production. Today we'll be reviewing the AGM-62 Walleye, a weapon that started out its history in Vietnam and concluded with the first Gulf War. Let's get started, shall we? Okay everyone and welcome to the uh, cockpit here. We've got two AGM-62 Walleyes loaded and ready to go. My uh, basic setup is to start with having the SA page up on your right MFCD, our FLIR looking forward down here on our center console, and of course the source page up on our left MFCD. To get ready to launch the uh, walleyes, today we'll be using Waypoint Designate, which will help uh, the walleyes in finding the target, and then we'll take Command Guidance to guide them in that last little bit of the way to the target. So let's get started and let's get airborne, shall we? Okay, as you can see, we are now airborne. A good drop point for the AGM-62 Walleye is about 24,000 feet and of course, dead on to your target as we can get. So we're airborne and we're just gonna circle out as we gain altitude and airspeed and get aligned with our target. Once we're aligned with our target, we'll go through the uh, process of actually setting up and engaging uh, the targets, and then we'll prosecute them with extreme justice. Okay, and we're back. And as you can see, we have master arm selected, air to ground selected. We've waypoint one designate as a target now. We have our walleye selected and our DL-13 selected on station two. And as you can see on the screen, we have the walleye steering queue, which is the da uh, the hashed circle. We have 39.4 to target, and we have a timer that will also start counting down as we get closer to our target. So we're gonna fly in towards our target, and as that timer gets closer, we'll uh, set up for weapon release. As we approach our target now, we're 25 miles out, and you can see the walleye timer counting down. Over here, we can also see the timer, station two, walleye, and DL-13. Now we need to make sure that the walleye and DL-13 are talking. So on the bottom left, we're gonna click the weapon and select the top walleye for station two. And everything is now set except destroying the target itself. And it looks like we're 50 seconds out. We'll come uh, back about 10 seconds from drop. Two, one, in range, pickle. Copy pickle. And as you can see, uh, we have clean separation of the AGM-62 walleye from the F-18. Notice the fin on the back, that uh, is from the 70s. The fin uh, spins and that actually generates a little uh, APU in there, a little APU generator that provides both power uh, for steering the fins and power to the uh, warhead uh, seeker so that you can get uh, data link back to the DL-13. As you can see, we have some uh, smoke off in the distance where uh, my second walleye hit. And now uh, this is Tercy's walleye inbound. So let's see if Tercy's a ship killer or a ship misser. Looks like we're about 30 seconds out from impact. Looking good on the screen. Copy that. Make sure you take command guidance. Go ahead and guide those last few in, please. Quite ready for that. Copy. She's looking good. Your ship is in tar uh, range and in target range. Yep. Like she's centered on about the bridge. Yep. Do me a favor. Demonstrate to uh, the people that you're able to uh, steer around the uh, ship. And uh, go for an impact on the back part of the ship if you can. Go for an impact on the back part of the ship. By using command guidance. And that is done using the throttle designator controller once she's uncaged. And it looks like five, four, three, and there's his command guidance. Two, one, and back of the ship. There she goes. Scratch another ship using the AGM-62 walleye. 
Okay, as you can see, we're about 18 miles from the target, 22 seconds on the timer. Looking down at our FLIR, we can see the FLIR is locked onto the target as well at waypoint 1. And the walleye is looking in that direction too, although uh, we can adjust the gain a little bit on it. There we go. That'll help us find the target. Now we need to go sensor select switch left. And then we need to uncage the weapon. And everything is in range. We're 13 miles out. And pickle. And away it goes. And we'll just trim the plane out a little bit. Now, to steer the bomb itself, or command guidance, you're going to want to use your throttle designator controller switch. And we'll do that as the bomb gets closer to the water and closer to the ship. You can see where the walleye is currently looking by the solid block uh, just below the center hash lines. And as you can see, we're closing in on this ship. What we're going to try to do, to be fancy, is put it right through a window on the ship. Whether we can do that or not, let's find out. Alright, there's the ship. We've got it good and centered now. I've taken command guidance, or man in the loop mode, as it's sometimes called in the military. We have good visual on the ship. As you can see on my uh, center screen FLIR, it's locked. Good picture. And let's find a window. There's a window right there in the crew cabin. And boom! Splash one ship. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you use the walleye using the waypoint designate function. And we'll see you in our next video at Tim and Tersey Production, Beyond the Wags.